Hello and welcome to 6 Tips for Getting Started with Open Source Compliance. My name is Phil Colton and I'm the director of the Open Compliance Program for the Linux Foundation. Our role is to encourage the adoption and use of Linux and other free and open source software by making it ever easier for organizations to comply with their open source license obligations. I hope you'll find the webinar useful, so let's get started. First, what do we mean by open source compliance? Open source compliance refers to the combination of policies, processes, training, and tools that enable an organization to effectively use free and open source software and contribute to open communities while respecting copyrights, complying with license obligations, and protecting the organization's intellectual property and that of its customers and suppliers. A question people often ask is, where do I get started with open source compliance? What do I do first? Those are good questions, so let me see if I can provide some useful guidance. Tip number one is to appoint someone as the overall free and open source software or FOSS compliance manager. This person will lead and manage the compliance initiative, planning out what needs to be done, getting needed resources from senior management, championing compliance and convincing people about the actions they need to take, and tracking tasks to completion. The FOSS Compliance Manager will also respond to any compliance inquiries that come in from the open source community. What skills and attributes are needed for such a person? Knowledge about open source technology and open source licensing is obvious. So is involvement with the open source community. But project management skill is also critical, and knowledge of the company and the products that are in development and relationships with key people in engineering, supply chain, the law department, and other internal organizations. Plus the ability to escalate issues to senior management and to use personal relationships to remove obstacles to implementation. Tip number two is know what open source is in your code. If you don't know what open source is in products your company distributes, you won't know what open source licenses are involved and what obligations need to be satisfied. But discovering what's in your code can be surprisingly difficult to achieve. Why is that? Most products today are not developed from scratch. They're comprised of components that come from many sources, both internal and external to the company. Often, they evolve from the company's legacy products that have been around a long time. Many products today consist of more than a million lines of source code, so it's not surprising that no single individual or even team knows what's in the code and where it all came from. What can you do? You can conduct manual audits and automated scans to uncover the open source content. Although they may be incomplete and imperfect, manual audits can be a useful starting point. So identify team leaders for each product subsystem and component and ask them to go through their source code looking for open source. Most of the open source will be identifiable by header comments that include copyright and license notices. Give the team leaders a spreadsheet template with the information they need to report, including open source package name and version number, license name and version number, the URL or other source from which the code was downloaded, and an indication of whether the source code was modified by your company. Later on, you'll do well to run the source code base through an automated scanner to identify other open source your teams will likely have missed in their manual audit. There are commercial tools as well as some open source scanning tools which bring different capabilities and power to bear in recognizing